high. So circuit breaker has been in effect for a week now in Singapore. And well, I'm not doing so great as I'm sure a majority of people are right now. I've been stuck at home for over a month at this point and honestly, the days feel like a blur. I don't have a real job anymore, so I've been finding myself in a bit of a slump as the days go by. Most mornings, I wake up past 11am and get stuck on social media. But not today. Today, I decided to film myself in an attempt to get some momentum and get out of this rut and care for myself a little better. Confession, I haven't showered for the whole week. <laughs> um, but I decided to start my day more productively by taking a nice shower and it actually really helped. I felt a lot more refreshed and awake and almost excited to get my day started. I've been trying to keep my skincare routine as simple as possible and for the past year or so I've only been using aloe vera on my face and honestly my skin has never been clearer I'm really happy with it I've been living the past few weeks in my pajamas and I find that because I'm in my pajamas I tend to want to lie in bed a lot more um, and I feel a lot more lethargic so today I decided to put on some nicer clothing still comfortable, incredibly comfortable pants and just a simple t-shirt but I think it makes all the difference really I guess when you're in your going out clothes somehow your mind gets tricked into thinking that you're not in lazy potato mode and so it's a simple easy trick to get me more productive in the day. I have a bad habit of skipping breakfast mainly because by the time I wake up on a slummy day, it's past breakfast time but uh, today I decided to treat myself with my favourite Greek yogurt and Thai mango combo Unfortunately, this mango has been sitting in my kitchen for way too long because I've been procrastinating on eating it um, but it's better late than never and I've honestly been eating this for years now. It started off, uh, I think, in university because it was just a simple and quick meal to make. I would eat it for any meal of the day, really. Um, I throw in some almonds for some added crunch. And yeah, we're good to go. Being under isolation strangely made me even more closed up. I am very introverted and I'm very comfortable being at home alone but um, recently I've just been putting off replying my friends texts, friends who have been checking in on me. I guess I just don't really want to tell them that I'm not doing so well but today I decided to reply all of them. So recently I started a bullet journal wanted something to help me be more productive and to stay on track. Here I am just filling in my habits tracker. I plot two main things, uh, how much sleep I'm getting and my mood for the day. I also keep track of some other things like my water intake, how much I'm exercising, whether I did something intellectual for the day like reading or listening to a podcast. I then plan out all my tasks for the day and now I'm moving on to designing next week's layout. After watching countless bullet journal videos on YouTube, 
I've really been inspired to use my bullet journal as sort of a creative outlet for me and it's actually been quite therapeutic designing the yearly and the monthly and the weekly spreads um, I'm really not very good at art so I've just been drawing inspiration from the YouTube videos, Pinterest and Instagram and I find that simply copying the designs has helped me gain a bit of confidence with my own art. And so this bullet journal that I'm using is from Archer and Olive. It has this beautiful bee design which I knew I had to get because I have a bee tattoo on my left elbow. I just think that it's so fitting and it holds a lot more meaning to me. Now I'm just finishing off this weekly spread design that was heavily inspired by an Instagram post from Archer and Olive. So back when I was working my 9 to 5 job at Askag, I would drink a cup of Nestum almost every morning to kickstart my day. So I think I just felt like if I recreated that at home, I would feel a bit more productive. So a little backstory, I quit my job at Askag end of February before shit hit the fan with COVID. I quit to join my friend's film camera business uh, but with COVID, the business has really been affected and so now I'm stuck at home but on the bright side, being at home has allowed me the time and mental space to revisit my old vlog footage from when I was solo backpacking Europe to Singapore I did it completely overland Please do subscribe to my channel if you'd like to follow my vlogs I'll link some of them in the cards So this week I decided to take on this 30 day song challenge uh, where I sing a different song according to the day's theme. I'll link the template in the description box so you can download it if you want to try it out too. Um, here I am just trying to practice the song for the day. I'll throw in a snippet here from my IG stories. <laughs> dinner I decided to give my hair a little snip uh, my bangs were getting into my eyes and so it was in due time I've actually been cutting my own hair for the past two to three years now so it's nothing new to me um, I cut my bangs completely by myself uh, watching some YouTube tutorials and I don't know I I also decided to give my whole head a trim um, by adding in some layers 
So another trick I learned from YouTube uh, on how to layer your own hair is to pull your hair up into a super high ponytail right at the top, like right at your forehead and then twist it a little bit and then cut it straight. So by doing this, when you release your hair, it will form really nice soft layers uh, without taking away the length of your hair. I'm really no hair expert here, but it's worked pretty well for me for the past few times that I've done this technique. I really don't like going to the hairdresser or hair salons anymore. Um, because every time I go, I pay like an exorbitant amount of money for results that I don't even like. So yeah, I haven't been to a salon in years now, I think. I really have no excuse not to be editing my videos. My grad trip was two years ago in 2018 and it's already 2020. And I'm not even halfway done with my vlogs so I'm just pushing through and I hope you guys do check out my vlogs I'll put it in the cart I guess the great thing about having four siblings is that there's always someone around to play with you um, recently my sister bought a Nintendo Switch and so we've been just spending a lot more time in front of the TV playing together and bonding um, right now we're playing Plaster Puck which is a super fun game and then we ended the night off playing some Mario Party <laughs> 